We're working on a air compressor today. The customer complaint was that uh, he was throwing some codes for the turbo actuator, uh, wouldn't calibrate. This machine has a John Deere 4.5 liter engine in it. And uh, we went through the diagnostics on it and found that the veins in the turbo are worn past uh, where it'll calibrate. So we talked with the customer on the steel and he wanted to go ahead and go ahead and change the turbo on it to resolve the issue. So I've got new parts here today and so we're gonna tear into it and replace this turbo. We're gonna start off by taking the shields off. We're gonna take this pipe here off, which would be two hose clamps on each side there. Go ahead and take this lower boot here off. We'll also take this upper boot here off. Wiring connector here will take off. We're going to change the boot here as well, so we'll go ahead and take it completely off. We've got one clamp here on the exhaust side, takes a 13 millimeter. I like to use a punch to break free the, the clamp itself. We've got a couple wiring connectors that hold for the VGT actuator itself and our speed sensor. We've got both connectors loose there. We've got a lube line here on top. One 13 millimeter holding a clamp on. These just got an O-ring in there. So you gotta wiggle the line kind of to Get it popped up out of place there. We've got a clamp down here holding the two lines together. So if you take the clamp off, then you got some more room. And then now we've got two bolts here on the bottom side that are for the turbo drain line. And those are a 13 millimeter. So we got the line off of there now. We've got a coolant line that hooks onto the actuator on the back side over here. So there's two lines with uh, that are I got an O-ring on it, and they slide in the housing. And then there's a bracket here with a bolt holding them in, and. Uh, Normally able to, depend on the fluid level of the coolant, uh, like this one, I was able to take off the lines without it leaking. So now we're down to our bolts that actually hold the turbo to the manifold. And those are a 15. <clears throat> These things look like they're gonna be hard to get off. They're definitely tight. Well, we got one of them out so far. Number two is out. Now we'll go to the other side and see if we can get those out. Got that one out. These back bolts are kind of a pain to get to. It's nice that they have 
nuts a bolt going through the flange with a nut on the bottom side so if you do break it off it's not broke off in the housing in the manifold housing but the downside is you got to have a backup wrench and there is just not much room in that area we got it out finally Turbo's out. Here's the lines I was talking about that go into the turbo actuator. They just slide in with that clamp that holds up against it there. So we're ready to put the new one on. We've got the new turbo here. Got some new bolts, some gaskets, some O-rings here. We're gonna see if we can get the right one of these. The ones that we had ordered aren't the right one. The downfall of working on some of these equipment, the bare engine, you can get through deer but then the cooling system uh, the parts are with the compressor unit so trying to find some of that stuff sometimes is a little bit of a pain uh, but we'll figure it out and we'll get this one put back together go ahead and set the turbo up there then we will set our gasket in there get some of the bolts started up then I always like to change the hardware on any of the exhaust system a lot of times you'll go to if you try to reuse it you'll end up boogering up the threads or something because of all the heat that's been put on that bolt or nut it'll save you some time too because new hardware will go back together a lot easier snug up a couple of these and we can position it where we need to get back here and tighten the pain in the butt one put a little bit of grease on the o-ring Actually, we're gonna go ahead and put the our drain tube on first. So we got the turbo drain line. It's all tight up now. Go ahead and put the pressure line in there. So make sure and don't tear the O-ring on it. Then we got our clamp here that holds it down. Thirteen millimeter on that. Go ahead and hook our wiring up here too. Hook our coolant lines up. Put a little bit of O ring or grease on the O rings as well. Put our clamp on here before we install it completely. Got that tight. We've got a new clamp for the exhaust. There's no gasket on this one. There we go. Tighten up the clamp. Got two new clamps and a new hose here. Got the intercooler boot put on there. Now we're ready to put our intake side. After we got the intake on here, we've got one clamp that holds the turbo drain and turbo pressure line together 10 millimeter so we've got everything on there now we're going to calibrate the VGT actuator 
and then we'll fire it up. So after running the engine, we did a calibration on the VGT actuator um, on the turbo and uh, our codes went away. Uh, we also had some codes uh, for supply voltage number seven circuit, um, ended up being a bad sensor for the crankcase pressure sensor. Uh, it was shorting out and causing that uh, code. So after that, uh, we ran it for a while, made sure we don't have any leaks anywhere. And now we can return this one back to the customer. He can go back to uh, using this uh, compressor. Uh, he's got it on a sandblasting unit here. So he can go back to using it again. So that's a wrap on this one.